Hotel sent me this 50M EVSE. I will be doing the installation, but first let's see what comes in the box. This is a 50 amp hotel EVSC to charge your electric vehicle. Let's see what's come in the box. On top, you get your user manual and installation guide along with some other paperwork. And there's this protective cover. I like when company ship item with this protective padding. It keep the item protected during shipment. They also include some zip tied hole cover and fastener to mount it on the wall. Mine has the J1772 adapter. You can also get it in the NAX adapter. The cable looks and feel like it's made out of good material. It got FCC certification, also CSA certification for the US. 240 volt at 60 hertz, 50 amp. The max charging speed is 12 kilowatt. This is where I plan to connect the EVSE and this electrical panel. I'll be using a 60 amp breaker. From there, I'll be using three quarter inch PVC conduit to feed my electrical line. I will mount it as close as possible to the ceiling. Once it reaches this corner, I will go up and out. The PVC conduit will continue under the deck. The plan is to install the EVSE in the cabinet in front of the deck. I'm going to start by knocking a hole for the bushing connector conduit fitting. I use a screwdriver and a hammer to push out portion of the knockout. Then I use a plier to remove the remaining pieces. After that, I installed the PVC conduit connector fitting. Then I use a lock nut to secure it in place, followed by an insulated bushing to protect the wires. Now I am using a heat gun to make a 90 degree so I can have a continuous pipe. They sell 90 degree elbow, but I prefer doing it that way since I'm going to be making other adjustments along the way. Once I get the shape I need, I use a wet cloth to keep the PVC in shape. After cutting the pipe, I make sure to clean it and sand the edge to protect the wire when pulling them. I dry fit the conduit so I can see where it needs adjustment, like right here, gonna need multiple bends so it can fit perfectly. Along the way, I'm priming and gluing and adding clamp where it's required. After making a couple more modifications on the conduit, we are getting close to reaching the exterior wall. After passing the conduit through the exterior wall, I use some spray foam to seal everything. Then I continue the same process under the deck to make the PVC conduit reach the required length. I make sure to fasten the conduit with clamps. Working under this deck was the worst process during this installation. Now I am getting ready to install the EVSE inside the middle cabinet. Pull back the back cover and remove the plastic handle since you're not gonna be using it anymore. In the back cover, I install a bushing connector with a lock nut with an insulated bushing. I already pre-drilled the holes where I'm going to be mounting this back cover. If you don't want to use the bottom hole, you have the option of using those two mark holes on the inside. If you decide to do that, you have those rubber cover that you can block the bottom hole with. This EVSE is ready to be mounted outside, but I'm going to be install mine in this metal cabinet. I already marked and pre drill where I'm going to be mounting the back cover with those fastener. I place the back cover with the bolt from the inside, then I apply some thread lock. I follow by placing the nuts in place, then fasten them down. This is what it looked like after installing the back cover of the EVSE. The plan is to mount the metal cabinet under the deck right here. I am currently working by myself and this is how I was able to mount this metal cabinet up under the deck. I am using four pieces of 2x4 attached to the deck on each side of the metal cabinet. From the inside of the metal cabinet, I screwed to the 2x4. It got dark the first day I was working on this. I only had one more bend to make for the PVC conduit. The next day, I got my brother to help me since I knew I was going to be pulling the wires. 
It's always better to have two people when pulling wire. One can be pushing and one can be pulling. I got the vacuum on on the inside with a small piece of bag at the end of the string. The vacuum was able to pull the line. Once the string reached inside, I attach a stronger piece of string to it and pull it back outside. This thicker and stronger string will be the one that is used to pull all the electrical wires. Because this is a 50 amp EVSE, I'm using 6 gauge THHN copper stranded wires. I could have used 8 gauge for the ground, but 6 gauge is all I had from a previous project. I'm really glad my body was there to help me pull the wire because it was a little tougher than I thought it would be. Since I'm not using the appropriate color, before pulling the wires, I marked them with heat shrink tubing to know which one was L1 and L2. After putting the wire in, I make sure to torque it to manufacture specification, then I wiggle the wire and torque it down again. After repeating the same process for all three conductors, I wiggle all three of them one last time, then torque them down again. I am using a 60 amp breaker with this 50 amp EVSE. I have to remember to reduce the EVSE to 48 amp per electrical code. Notice for all my wires, I tug them down for the first time, then wiggle the wires, then tug them down some more. I repeat the same process with the wires when I was installing them and the 60 amp breaker. You can install the breaker first, then connect the wires to the breaker, but I prefer doing it that way. Again, I follow the same step by tucking down the wire, then wiggle them, then tucking them down again. This is really important to do. Not doing it the right way, not following manufacturer specification, not using the right tuck setting can cause fire in the future. After installing both wire and the breaker, I place it down, then push it in place. Now I will be using my multimeter to make sure everything is working properly. L1 and L1 should be around 240 volt, getting 239. L1 to neutral should be around 120 volt, getting 119.7 and 119.9 on the second one. I repeat the same thing on the outside, getting 239 between L1 and L2. 119.7, 120 volt between L2 and ground. Now I'm turning off the 60 amp breaker to install the EVSC. This is really easy to put back in together, align it with the back cover, place the bottom section in first, then push the top portion. Because I installed this EVSE in a metal cabinet, installing those screws at the top will be a little harder, but I already pre drilled the hole and make sure they align perfectly. There are two of them on each side. Once that was done, I went in, turned on the 60 amp breaker, then go outside, I saw a glowing green line, which was a good sign. I pull out the EVSE plug, then pop open the charging port on the electric vehicle, then plug it in. It looks like it's working as it should be. It took a couple seconds to turn blue, then one of the segments is flashing, indicating that it's charging. From manufacturer, I believe this is using 50 amp. I have to dial it down to 48 amp since I'm using a 60 amp breaker. Using a clamp meter confirm that it is set at 50 amp from manufacturer. I have to go in the app to set it at 48 amp. After installing the app, I click on me, then my charger, then the charger, then maximum current. It looks like you can go as low as 6 amp. I like that they give you that flexibility. I'm going to select 48 amp. The only other function I will be using in this app is about the glowing green light. I click on the EVSE at the top, then scroll down to lamp strip brightness, and I can dial it down all the way to zero, which that's where I'm going to leave it, and press save once I'm done. By setting the amperage to 48, I am following the electrical code only using 80% of this breaker capacity continuously. After that, I let the vehicle charge for a few hours and monitor the wire to see if I was getting any hotspot. Nothing looked unusual, looks like it's working as it should. I did look at the vehicle app, it looked like 11 kilowatt was going in. 
I plug the charger in around 3.30 and it looks like it's going to be fully charged at 8.26 p.m. This is what the EVSE looks like after turning off the glowing green light. I've been using this EVSE for a little bit now and it's been working flawlessly. I hope this video was informative. If you are interested in this hotel EVSE, I will leave link in the description below. If you like this video, you might enjoy the recommended videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next video.